I will introduce you to Goal Stack Planning. Assalamualaikum guys, welcome back to Artificial Intelligence and this time uh, I will introduce you to Goal Stack Planning. So what is the problem? The problem is when the Goal Stack Planning uh, is used is when we have problems that uh, they are too large or too big. So um, usually it's, it's search problems and um, but the, the problem is too large. So we have uh, another kind of uh, solution or approach, and this is the planning approach. So if we want to do uh, a planning approach, uh, we need uh, to decompose the problem and uh, what is the knowledge about the problem and uh, what is the heuristic in order to solve this problem. Okay. So for example, is elevator control system. So in elevator control system, you need to go uh, down or up, but uh, there are several uh, levels in the, bu the building and there are uh, different passengers, okay? Some passengers want to go up, some passengers want to get out of the elevator, some passengers want to, to get in, and maybe uh, some of the passengers are VIP, VIP level, so the elevator needs to prioritize this. So that means the uh, elevator uh, control system needs to be able to plan uh, the, the, the control of uh, the elevator. Okay. So it's not about learning, it's not about reasoning, uh, it's basically just searching what is the most optimal solution, but it is smart in a way uh, that the system needs to be able to plan it. So uh, there are three uh, actions or processes that need to happen. First is that the planning needs to be able to break the problem and then we complete each of the sub problems there and then combine each of the solutions from each of the sub problems. Okay, so what is the structure of the problem? So what we want to achieve is a sequence of actions that will move the system from the initial state to the goal state. Okay, so uh, that means that you need to have initial state and then you need to know what is the goal state. But also you need to know what are the operators. Okay, operators, uh, for example, in the uh, elevator, you need to have operator to go up one level and you also have an operator to go down one level. Or maybe you have operator to go up X levels and you can have an operator to go down X levels. You have an operator to close the door and then you can have an operator to open the door. Okay. So these are examples of uh, operators. And then you have a, a initial state. So initial state is uh, the elevator in uh, first floor and then the goal state is that elevator in uh, which, which floor and uh, everybody is uh, getting out of the elevator, okay? So the, the planning uh, program needs to be able to compute a plan given the operators and given the initial state and the goal state. Okay, so let's uh, just go to uh, the example, uh, there are uh, several planning algorithms. Uh, there is uh, strips. Uh, this is from Stanford Research, and uh, there is also uh, goal stack planning. Okay, so the 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 strip is the uh, a problem solver, and the goal stack planning is the strategy used by the strips problem solver. So 
uh, let's see what is a problem in a goal stack. So this is an, a very uh, common example in goal stack planning. It's called the block world. So basically, the overview is that it's a world that has a hand, a robot hand, and then uh, a table. Uh, the table is not part of the of the world, but there are uh, there is a set of blocks. Uh, you can see that there is A, B, and C, and the job is that to move uh, A, B, C to a certain uh, order. So usually A, B, and C in the in one uh, in one side of the table, and it is uh, in order A, then B, then C. Okay. So as you can see, uh, there are rules of the game. Only one block can be put. Uh, using the hand, so the hand uh, can be uh, can move one block uh, from one side to another. Uh, there are any number of blocks on the table, but the hand can only grab one block and then move it to another. So only one block is uh, the hand can handle. And so you can see there are uh, states here or predicates in first order logic. So. Uh, there are five uh, predicates here uh, for the uh, the state of the block. There is on table and there is on, and there is a clear. That means that uh, okay. Let's let's just skip to to the example. Okay, so okay, so we have a state uh, on table A, meaning that A is on the table, and then on C A, meaning that C is on top of A. And then on table B means that B is on the table. And clear B and clear C means that there is nothing above C and there's nothing above uh, B. Okay. And the goal state is using the same uh, predicates as before. So the goal state is that C is on the table here. And B and C, B is on top of C. And A and B, uh, A is on top of B and A itself uh, is clear, so there is nothing else. So this is the initial state and the goal state, and you have uh, predicates or states here. Now, there is also the other part of the, the problem is, uh, are the operations, okay? So operations, we have a name and also parameters sometimes, and then there's a PAD, precondition, add, and then delete. So let's see that if we uh, there are four operations here, stack, unstack, pick up, and put down. So let's see. Stack means that we put the block X on top of block Y. Okay. So we can stack maybe a C to B. Okay. So we put C on top of B. Okay. And then unstack, and then pick up, and uh, put down. Okay. So it, it works uh, like that. The operations is moving a state to another state. Okay, so this is how you write the states uh, using uh, first order logic. So, uh, for example, if we want to stack uh, some block X on top of Y, so basically the precondition must be that the Y there is nothing on top of the Y, so Y must be clear. So this is a precondition, right? And the X uh, must be held by the robot, so it needs to hold the, 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 the block, okay, X. And if the precondition is, uh, is true, then uh, the program can execute add and delete. So what it adds, it will add to the memory or the knowledge space uh, that on x comma y is true. Okay. So after running this operation, then x will be on top of y, and that means arm empty. Arm empty is uh, another state. That means that the robot or the hand is not holding anything, and then it must delete the following uh, conditions or states from the knowledge base. So holding X is deleted. 
So before the x uh, holding x is true, right, as the precondition. But after adding uh, this, uh, after adding this, and after executing the operation, that means the robot is no longer holding x, and on top of y, uh, it's no longer clear. Okay, so because on top uh, of y uh, there is x, so we have to delete the clear from the knowledge space. Okay, so that's how uh, we uh, perform this tag x y uh, using the uh, the algorithm, but using the first order logic on the knowledge space. Okay. So I hope uh, that is clear for the introduction. If you have any questions, you can put in the comments. And after that, I will show you how do we actually uh, perform or how is the algorithm of the goal stack planning. Thank you.